and we are back. Half Hour Henshin episode 84. As always, I am Sleepy Witch, joined by BJ Zerda 2.5D here at Tuber. And as always, it's time to talk about this week's superhero time. Yeah. The second oh. part to the almost basically like this two parter that we've had with the new girl at Hotaru School. Yep. Oh man. Yeah. So basically like it, it literally just continues right after because like it was a cliffhanger where she got frozen and all that stuff. What what I didn't expect is for and again, this is just still being like I'm so impressed with the like, you know, kid actress for uh Atropos, because mm-hmm. the fact that the episode starts and it's like, oh, where well, you know you're getting your settings, it's just immediately like she's dead, and she's dead because of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, I like, I literally cannot believe how good she is at being a little shit. It's like, 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 like I always say every single time, she she makes everyone want to throw down with a little kid. Dude, it's so funny. No, she's fantastic, and also I. I, for a second, also bought it. I'm like, bro, is she really dead? That's really fucked up. She just mm-hmm. died here. I, oof. The mammoth fight was, was good. Um, I love that Minata shows up and is almost immediately like, no, 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 she's not dead. We are a children's show. She did not just die. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Yeah, yeah, not yet. And then, you know, like, like everyone's just joking around, oh, like, uh, Oh my god, I, I I keep forgetting what's the what's the name of Spanner's mentor again? I it's like Miss Yoka. Oh god. Oh my god, I I, I forgot. I can never remember. I'm gonna look it up. But yeah, like every, uh, yeah, every, every, everyone keeps joking around about how like the these two are just always on a date now. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, Kyoka. Oh, Kyoka. Yeah, Kyoka yeah. and Edami. Yeah, yeah, Kyoka and uh, like Le- Le- Lakesis. Lakesis. Yeah, yeah, they're basically always on a date. Uh, yeah, yeah. I did not. Oh man, well, we'll really get to that in the later half of this episode. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> speaking about uh, Lakesis in general, um, yeah. oof. But yeah, you know, uh, I love that we're seeing uh, the fucking server suit, like, actually in action again. Uh, I feel like the last couple times we've been on just regular Majade, because obviously, like, the Cerberus card gets stolen. And mm. then, you know, for a little bit, you know, the focus has just been on Hotaro, since it's been, like, it was just Geryon and then, like, the Fox, and she wasn't super fighting for either of those. Uh yeah. And this and this one, like you know, like all the ice stuff really going on here. But you know, we we, we get a phoenix punch, a double phoenix punch. So yeah, oh, yeah, I I love I also love that like the freeze goes and she uses the sun for like the chemi rise. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, and and we're gonna we're gonna see the sun again very oh, much later man. on. That was ridiculous. Yeah. What happens later on in this episode? But it's really funny too because yeah, like uh, like she gets thought out because of the because of the power of the sun. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. <sighs> Huge fight. You know. Don't worry. I I love how you know. It, oh, she's gonna be okay. But as you were saying, Miss Kyoka and like literally just are like on a date. They're just off in some like food truck having dinner together. It's like, oh, I don't have mm-hmm. to eat, and she's just like, oh, that's so boring. You know, can't you enjoy life a little bit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and then you know, yeah. Then and, and and then you know we see stuff with the tropos, and the tropos is still see like looks like Gary is still around. As a shade of some sort, like, yeah, I, for a bit, okay, so this was happening, this happened, and it's this, like, Kemi, who's, who's, you know, got, like, the darkness, I don't know if it's, like, that's as a shade, or I don't know if this is gonna be more that, like, Atropos is, like, so mentally unstable from losing Geryon, that she's, like, imagining Geryon as- everywhere. As as someone that's been playing that that just beat Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, like I'm just like thinking about how like the freaking Sephiroth closed the black cloaks and how Cloud always sees them as Sephiroth. So mm. yeah, it, it it might be something like that. And but what, what that, yeah, because yeah. it's literally like he's there and he's like, we have to avenge Master Girion. Cause like mm. nothing that he actually says is something that uh like garyon would be saying it's something that the guy would be saying and she's just imagining garyon is there kind of 
Because mm-hmm. at first I thought, oh, does maybe this guy have the power of illusions? I this is this is when my brain was was racing because like the one thing that they did with the new girl last episode is there was just like that one time I think during while they were watching something where she's like looking at Hotaro and Rene and she just like looks menacing. They do like the menacing like zoom in on her. And for whatever reason, when I saw this guy like trans like I when I thought this guy was like transforming, I was like, oh my god, has she is this has she been like amalgam this whole time? <laughs> uh but no, yeah. um, they practiced the Roman Juliet. Uh, I also really liked at the beginning of this, um, the episode where we see, like, the Kimmy cards. They're using, like, the Roman Juliet art that they made for it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's adorable. Oh, man. But yeah, like, like, yeah, we, we, yeah, like, it's really important that we know about Romeo and Juliet because, like, as you see, Rene is really into making it work really well. Yep. And then, you know, yeah, we, we see, yeah, um, um, Mukuro or what was it? Sukumo. Um, Sukumo. Get, yeah, yeah. Sukumo get really jealous about it. Yeah, and, and she's like, "Oh, you're already taking my role." Yeah, but then you know, we we get a cute little reconciliation and stuff like that. So. I love that this is an entire reconciliation where Hotaro has no idea what is really going on. I know it's so <laughs> He's funny. He's just such a dummy. Hotaro has no idea this is like a whole romance thing that like has something to do with him. I do again. Love seeing little little baby version actors. It's always cool. Um, but okay, yeah. I get it. And then you know, as as the show must go, uh, amalgam attacks. Yeah, and uh, and like this 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 amalgam is is pretty messed up. Like pretty much like like we were talking about illusions earlier. And well, number one, this is this is an octopus. And number one, I love octopi. But yeah, like holy I... crap, like. Oh man, the idea there, of using the ink to do illusions is, yes. is great. Uh, I really like the vibe of the suit. I don't know how I feel about sometimes when it's like walking and like the big ass arm just kind of like waving super floppily. I'm like, eh, not my favorite, but it's a cool design. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's but also so it just fucking up. solos the fuck out of Spanner. Yeah, and that, that like ne- and nearly mess and messes with um with Atara and Rene as well too. But and, yeah, like, you know, Rene gets to, Rene's actress gets to have fun with this, uh, like pretending like being illusion Rene. Yeah, I want to talk about the the just the Spanner fight a little bit because I just again I do love that it's one of those fights where like he only wins because you know uh Spanner is just so strict about not hurting someone who looks basically like his his like surrogate mother character ladies this kyokai yeah. um but also just like I, I know obviously he didn't but just the fact that like the dude like almost just looks like he fucking kills spanner yeah like, the tentacles come out and they like crush him into nothingness and then later they just don't acknowledge it or anything and you just see spanner and he's fine or whatever but it's like bro it looked like he just murdered spanner <laughs> Yeah, it it really does look like that. Oh man, but yeah, it just pushes him down in, and then you know, then Rene and Hotaro have to deal with illusions, and like you know, we we see pretty much evil, suitless uh, Hotaro and Rene pretty much um, beat up their counterparts because like the the enemy looks like the enemy looks like uh um sorry the the person they're not trying to hit. It looks like the enemy, so they're trying to pit them against each other. But the yep. uh, but the enemy himself looks like you know the person that actually is important to them. And also, yeah. again, regardless of Hatara being a romance dummy or whatever, they did specify that like the person you're seeing is the person you care about the most. So that's also cute that they're seeing each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, but also, yeah, it's really funny watching like suit lace Rene just trying to beat the shit out of. Him. Yeah. And after that, I love I, I love this part too because like uh, Rene, uh, like you know, despite her knowing that she looks like the amalgam, like you know, signals like you know using freaking Romeo and Juliet lines, I believe it was, yep. to- and then uh, and then gets a gets a hot to kick her, and it's so funny what we find out later. Uh, that- yeah, uh, it also it's really funny because again the illusion with ink and there being in this black background she tried to blow the darkness away and it didn't work because his powers just aren't like that also mm. i love that that like she was like hey hotaro kick me and he did not hold back he did like the full rider kick and we even got the full like wild yeah. transformation anime we got like the real ass kick uh, yeah it's been a while since we got in that too uh yeah, especially it kind of sucks because I do. I think the original uh, Steam Hopper cake is very stylish, so it's it's nice that we got to see it uh, 
But yeah, uh, then it's like, oh, rip Kudo. But obviously, you know, according to Stoki stats, this isn't a defeat because she doesn't, you know, leave the suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's great too. Yeah, like I said, yeah, yeah. We we see an eclipse happen with Sun and Moon, and then we basically see that he's not able to do it anymore because. Which looks kind of, I mean, it actually doesn't look gro as grotesque as I thought it was going to. But the top half of the uh, of the uh, octopus is gone now. Yep, they just fucking cut. They just fucking cut his little head in half. Yeah, uh, yeah. She got the little. She got the little. The little squash. The little Z sword. The Excalibur and used mm -hmm. it. Um, which is cool. Yeah. And it's really sick too because like the fight is actually really fun with what they did here, where they're basically both using the uh, Gotcha Excalibur. Where they're basically just tossing it back and forth with each other. Yeah, I really like the again like the team like choreography. I thought that was really cool. Uh, like you said, the eclipse thing was really cool. Uh, I'm just gonna be honest as a, as a rule, as we should all know, if they're in the suit, they're still in the fight. <laughs> okay, yes, basically, yes. basically. If they are in the suit, you have not defeated them. Just mm -hmm. always remember that. Yeah, uh, and then we, and then Sukumo is actually watching the entire thing happening, and is like saying, "Oh wow, they really are like comp complimenting each other." Yeah, they're they're just a cute team. Um, yeah. especially with like the platinum Gotchard, he's also white, and Majade is white, so they have a lot of like white and orange. They have a lot of like color scheme similarities now, like in the main suits. Throwing the sword back and forth is super cute, but obviously the thing we care about is. The fucking final, like, double kick. Yeah. Um, the fucking double kick with the, like, fucking fantastic explosion. Uh, he explodes, and we get to see fucking Platinum Gotcha just land on one side. Super awesome. And then we get the, like, smoke clearing and, like, on the other side seeing Majay. <laughs> like, <laughs> such a cool shot. Yeah, it's 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 just so freaking awesome. I saw a fucking I saw a fucking dude that was so complaining about it that they didn't like it, and it was someone quote tweeting it like, "Dude who just saw the coolest thing in the world, bro, that shit sucks." <laughs> yeah, um, and after that, yeah, and then you know, once again, we get we get another reconciliation, but like you know, we just get you know just another mind wipe and yeah, it just. Yeah. The mind wipe felt so ominous in this episode because, like, it did. he just kind of walks up and, like, no one else acknowledges other than her and you just get the mind wipe. But we get to the play. Um, They look cute in their costumes. Rene's mm -hmm. fucking Juliet. Um, and we get to see fucking Sukuno saying that, like, oh, yeah, you know, you've been working so hard. Basically, like, you should be Juliet. I want to see you as Juliet. Yep. And because she doesn't remember, she's like... Why the fuck did I say that? <laughs> like, it's all for the best. But it's just so funny because, like, now she doesn't actually know that, you know, they have this whole thing. You know. And they do, they do like, a hug. They die together. It was, it was a cute play. I hadn't realized until later that people were like, oh, my God, like, Hotaro's actor is 19 and Rin's actor is 16. How could you? And it's like, they, they're, they're actors. They're, they're playing it's a kid's play and it's a show you know what i mean yeah like, exactly these actors are, are are acting and to be fair i do think it's probably better that they still don't have a kiss because it's just like yeah. okay it's 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 maybe um but like again they're they're actors for a show where they are the same age and again like it it's it's been a kid's show i don't know what they're expecting them to do that would be terrible exactly uh, but, i know. love seeing kaijiki in his outfit too I wish you would have done something crazy, but it's probably for yeah. the best. Uh, but of course, you know, uh, and then of course, like the the scene that you know was all over Twitter. Oh my god! <laughs> the, yeah, because like I said, this, this is this is the real show. The this real show. cliffhanger. Yep, Valverad working on the Valva Rusher, and I don't plan on saving you again. Wait, how do you have a Valva Rusher? Oh, I copied hers for you, Spanner. You can never have too many hands on deck. <laughs> yep. We can't trust her. We gotta prepare ourselves for future tre threats. And Minato's like, oh, I'm going to, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna take responsibility if she does anything. And like, he's like, he's a partnership, oh, nasty tongue hound. <laughs> uh, and then we get to see, uh. you know, oh, look, something gold is kind of escaping from the fucking, uh... Ouroboros link to the fucking... I forgot what the other dimension was called. 
Man, I, I'm just gonna call it the alchemy dimension. But sure. uh, I mean, as, as we as we see, and what um, Clotho has been uh, really worried about, um, yeah, uh, we're about to start seeing the Abyssal's King, and yep. I guess, the, uh, well, mm. and here's the thing: the, the, I'm, I'm, get... I'm like thinking to myself, this is a. Uh, this is at least 15 episodes to the end. I'm maybe <laughs> it's like I'm trying to like figure out who's going to be the main main villain. I have no idea. My current thought is still it's going to be like a Trophos and it's but it's going to be one of those things where maybe they have to save her at the end kind of thing. Mm. But yeah, because yeah, because because we because like they are forced to team up because it looks like the next episode. Yeah. Clodo yeah. And, and Hotaro that, have to work together. That was going to be my, yeah. my next comment is the fact that like, oh, hey, look. But I, I love how we get this, like, hey, look, there's this really interesting thing going on with Spanner. Anyway, next episode. Yeah, I know, right? Hotar and Kotho get stranded together. It's a labyrinth. I, I think my favorite part is people were talking about, like, oh, look, it's a new guy, the Abyssal is King, the Abyssal is King. And there was, like, one tweet that was, like, shut the fuck up, UFOX is back. <laughs> I love UFOX, okay? I love that UFO X that's is that. So um, that's so true. That's so true. X Rex is a bit, X, X Rex suit is, is good too, but X but like UFO X is so fucking goofy. I love it so much. Um Yeah. We I'm all kinda love sad it. we haven't seen more of the, we didn't see more of like the X suits. They might have been in the movie, but like you know what I mean. Like we haven't actually seen more mm -hmm. X stuff after that. Um but yeah, uh it's gonna be cool. They're in a labyrinth, which, you know, since we get all the like references to like I'm assuming there's going to be a Minotaur. We already have, like, the Greek fates and the kind of, like, alchemy link to that throughout this series. So, yeah. we're going to see if there's a monster in the labyrinth. I'm curious to see how they got there, really. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. It's, 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 it, it's, yeah, like, there's a, there's a lot going on. Like, the nice, the nice thing about Gotchard is that, you know, it is very, very, like, you know, simple, like, you know, small arcs for everything. So... Like it's, it's it's not like miniature art. It's not like miniature two episode arcs all the time. But you know, there there is still like you know stuff that happens. Like yeah, you know, and, like... and the thing is like we we you know like I said we kind of took a break. We had like our big arc with Geary and come to an end. Now we're kind of setting up what's going to be the next big bad, which is you know maybe using Geary's body. We don't know. But yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, you know who else? I don't know. I was trying to come up with the transition. Boom Chan is burning the curry. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. not he, happy. He's sad. He's, he's sad. very sad. I <sighs> man, first of all, fucking uh, Joe being too relatable with being like, I am also sad. I find myself worrying about my lack of savings or what I'll do when I'm old. He's up at night. <laughs> I'm like, too real. Yep. Too real. <laughs> but the fact that they end up mentioning is it love i guess it is <laughs> yeah and then uh yeah and then and next and then we get to see you know some work that's being like sorry then then we see uh, what, what was it uh what's 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 the name uh what's what's the name of it again break uh no the the thing no what um the name of um of uh what what uh bundorio is uh is obsessed with i forgot i forgot her Valora. Oh, Valora. Valora. Yeah, yeah, that's Belor from uh, Nimanji Tires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I I can't be the only person to think she looks like a Kemi. I feel like they just got the Kemi artist to draw. Yeah, that makes sense. It does look like a Kemi, uh, but you know they, that would be yeah, that but... would that would be funny. The fucking if they did like the oh here's like the 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 Boom Boom Jergotra crossover movie. <laughs> Valor is a Kemi. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. That would but, be. I mean, we have... That would be really. But I'm like funny. trying to think. Like we we haven't really had like a, yeah we haven't had um the the Sentai uh, Conrad crossover first like a, a real while like a real one. Oh wait no 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 I'm wrong I'm wrong we had one for Saber, but it was just two episodes. I can't remember if Re Revice had one. Yeah. I mean technically Revice did have one, but it was just showing the ending to the Don Brothers. Right. Yeah. But um. Anyway, I. I think the funniest part is that they keep a comically sized Bundario hat in the at the fucking shop because like obviously you can get a big ass trench coat, you can get a wig. That yeah. hat is gigantic, especially <laughs> if is. you see it in fucking when you actually see it in fucking her hands beforehand. You're like, oh my god, that thing is like a fucking like a fucking skillet. <laughs> yeah, 
and then uh yeah and then we see you know madrex and uh and uh and our and team rocket all together yep. Maybe he won't. And, maybe he won't chew us out today. I bet he won't. And immediately starts chewing them out. Yeah, and um, yeah, and and then turns uh, and then he basically just takes the key and uh, straight up turns the. Oh wait, no, um, no, yeah, no, yeah, what was it? No, uh, the 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 cinder blocks become be, the wall itself becomes a uh, an auto monster. An auto monster. I think my favorite part uh. is that they fucking used uh, Eurocar to block the sphere. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, but yeah, but yeah. Wall I, Monster I, I, I want to see cool more. Design. I want to see more of these three interact. Yeah, I just want to see more of them. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping just because of the way it's been, we get like an episode that's just them doing shit for it. Like maybe they don't even summon an auto monster. <laughs> um, I love that immediately one of the first things about the auto monster is stuck. Yeah, yeah. It's like trying to walk along with them, and then it gets stuck in, in the wall, and it's like marching in place. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But we have a procurement for Mr. Orange, who gets a little tea and a, a lollipop as a drink. Uh, as, like, a gift. A, a drink and a lollipop as a gift. And, you know, Ty shows up, and he's like, Hey, hey, here's the Boom Change Axe. Maybe you should, uh, join us. And he's like, that's not my job. Yeah, yeah that's like, not my I, vibe. I, I'm just here to watch. <laughs> yeah, I... Oh, okay, the only thing I wish is that he just got the change axe because he already mm. had the communicator we saw him use the little thing before yeah. so i just feel like giving it to him i'm like oh wait a minute he already has that just give him the axe like but anyway <laughs> they leave him they're like whatever this is for you uh they just drive off and he's like oh shit did i just i gotta walk with this heavy ass thing now <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then you know uh, the, the block monster is just in the way of everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I thought it was really funny that he's just like, I'm just making walls. And he, like, fucking makes a wall to, like, the Lost Children Center. And then, yeah. like, a dude making his deliveries and, like, drops everything. I just love... This one's really funny because it almost feels like he's just fucking playing pranks. Yeah. The fucking but one where he puts the wall... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the in front of the lunch. I'm like, it's like you see just like two cinder blocks in front of the lunch. Like they can just reach around, but it's just really funny because they just he just made it super inconvenient. Yeah, it was really dumb. And then I love that because they're like a little fucking like shopping mall. You get to see fucking the other three. Like, oh, we're just having a little burger while we watch this happen. Yeah, and then uh, of course, like you know, our comedic duo of uh, of black and pink. They um. Yeah, yeah. They, they they trip they get tripped over while trying to chase after the wall. So and then they get attack blocked and they just strip over the wall. Uh and I think my favorite bit is that like procurement shows up with a trampoline. <laughs> and he just had yeah. plus he had an orange trampoline, like he has it on theme too. Yep. Yeah, because because you know, he that's that he like he 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 knows what he knows what's needed and just gets you know gets paid for it because that's yep. his job. Yep, Mattia is like, bro, we're we're evolving too fast for you to keep up. Uh, which, to be fair, they do kind of start bodying this guy until Madrex shows up. Yeah, and then yeah, Madrex is just like, uh, nah. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, and also the fact that Madrex is like, fucking like an strong. actual general. Yeah, yeah he, mean, he's he actually is. a general, not a grunt. So yep, yeah, and, and I, I love uh, that. And... Again, up? he's gonna throw a mirror to help them, and it's like, no, we don't need it. <laughs> Yeah, and then um, you know, yeah, he uh, he 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 gets to transform with everyone now. You've made your point. Uh, I get it, Taya, and he shows up. He, we get his transformation. They're all detransformed, so we get to see them all transform together. Uh, I love. He goes like stylish with the transformation. Like he uses his knee and shit. Like yeah, yeah. He 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 basically holds up. He basically holds up his jacket and then just yeah bounces it on his knee. And you know, as as we know, like you know his uh. His uh, his his tire is construction theme, so yep. yeah, yep. Uh, very cool sequence, and then you know we get like the full the full roll call with everyone, mm -hmm. uh, which again the roll call is so funny. I love that they like drift uh drift around red and stuff, and very very fun. Uh, we, and you know now we have the pose for Boone Orange as well. Yeah, and he's just like pointing outwards. Like, yeah, he he is very very flamboyant with the way he works. Yeah, I uh, no, I I like it. I dig it. Um, 
I still think my favorite is Miro's little, like, especially, like, at the end, little pose, because she's, like, on the ground. Oh, yeah. You uh, need to watch Kira Major. Like, Kira Major's pose is probably, like, the most insane one, though. All right. I'll, I'll Kira Major's <laughs> on the list. I mean, they're all on the list. I'll get to it. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, we get to see a cool fight. Uh, Block, the Block versus Orange, where he does the, like, high-speed dash to get him, is yeah. really cool. Yeah, I mean, it just breaks it through. I mean, like, I mean, they 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 could have said stuff like you know, like he's he's construction themed, but you know. Yeah, yeah. The one do the thing that I feel like, obviously they're they're keeping it the match. He's got the change axe. I think it'd be cool if you had like a change hammer. Ooh, yeah, that would be good. Um, since they they've already gone through like the fact that like it's already like a different thing, but I know that they're just like, oh, we just got we are we have the second one to use. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, Orange manages yeah. to slice through not only the cinder block, but he leaves a little. They leave a little dent on Mad Rex as well, and he is angry. He is not happy with that. Yep. Uh, Yoru fucking goes for a drive. Uh, I don't mind when they're a little longer, especially when we're seeing the new vehicles anyway, because it's kind of like, oh, okay. I love that this was a very no nonsense. The dude just used the arm and just fucking chucked him out of there. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, just, 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 just. Okay, cool. Yeah, go, go. Just, just use the crane. Yeah, I love. Also, it just, you know, as much as sometimes it could be a little annoying for this like long ass animation scene for like, oh, cool, we're just setting up the thing. I do always love seeing the shot that they always take of like Yarukar just falling <laughs> into like the grass. <laughs> like, she just like pops out. You guys would see the toy just falling on the ground. Yep. And then uh yeah, we we actually get a really I mean I really love this transformation because like I mean like we were talking about it a little bit last week but now we really get to see it because yep. you know we yeah, we see Power we see the hammer. giant hammer. Yep. yep. And the arm. Like I love the idea that it's just like a full power arm to support the hammer essentially. Yeah, yeah, because I mean Bundario's got little skinny arms in his base form. Uh, yeah, like, like I, 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 like I know it's not, but like if it was like an, actually a reference to Gal Geiger, I would have been smiling because yeah. Gal Geiger is just a bunch yeah, of construction so they, materials and stuff yep. like that. Yeah. But yeah, big, big boy hammer, big boy like arm. Uh, I love that the you know fucking head looks like he's wearing a construction helmet. Like it, it all looks good. Yep. And then immediately scans like, and then yeah, the the wall auto monster like pretty much makes a giant wall, and you know like Genba is just like we're breaking it. We found we found a weak point, and just just just. I love how they it. have to search the weak point though, because they go to like like smack it, and it's like, oh no, that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then and then and then this finisher is actually like it's actually it's actually it's simple but cool. Uh yeah, I mean. For this one, it might also have just been they did the finisher this way because they had to, like, do the whole bit of him, like, breaking through the wall. Because they, you know, they do the fucking, like, Tetris break everything, everything. But yeah, big hammer smash. Um, yep. Hits him with a bunch of caution tape. And yep. then... <laughs> then we have the Don Brothers <laughs> reference. <laughs> yeah, the like, that's why I'm laughing. the heart through omnipresent at time. They are not needed. And then he dies. Uh... I so I really like the fact that they've been doing some dumb like puns or stuff every time they die. I think this yeah. is the first guy who like didn't do it at the beginning of the episode two. So that was the only thing that I was like, oh, this kind of came out of nowhere. I feel like I wish I would have seen it. The toilet auto monster one was still probably the funniest, <laughs> the like finger pose. But uh, <laughs> I love that Itasha and the other guy like that didn't fit the meter that or that fit the meter, but he didn't mention the seasons. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Everyone always forgets that that's kind of the vibe with haiku. Yep. Yeah. And then, um, and then, and then, and then we finally get to see a little bit more about Break. Uh, like you know, we basically know that you know he he is also looking for something because it seems that everyone except for Mira has something they're looking. They're lo- actually no, Mira, Mira actually, and Joe. No, Mira, yeah, Mira and Joe. Like like they they don't need all of the they don't need a lot of development right now. But yeah, like the other three, do, um, like you know, like have a goal now, and yeah. we and we get to see we get to see uh, break finally break some character for a bit now because yeah, he you thinks know, uh, Bur- uh, Baroba or whatever the little yeah, little, little, little yeah, Ballora, yeah, Ballora is like really cute. He's like, oh, this is fantastic, and everyone's like, ah, uh. yeah, everyone's yeah. like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, uh 
what but is yeah, the that... target demographic? Apparently, it's break. <laughs> yeah, break and Bundorio. Yep. Oh, and it looks man. like we're going to see some more versus Mad Rex next episode. We get the and whole the like, warehouse. Uh, yep. The, I mean, you got to have the warehouse. My yeah. dream means I have to take this guy down. And then they're like, you know, we're getting the like, what exactly are the bamboo, the boom boongers to you, Taya? Yeah. So also, we're actually getting a Taya focus episode. So. Yep. Also, I think the funniest part is, I don't know if you noticed, but they're all in cages. But they're also in cages with the other two auto monster guys. With the because yeah. Natasha's in one of them and Mad uh not Mad Rex uh, I forget what the other guy is called um a uh, Decatora Decatora is in one uh <laughs> so yeah we're gonna see what what is going on with that yeah so yeah we 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 need to figure it out because like it looks like it looks like yeah Mad Rex just really just wants a one on one with Boon Red yes yeah. just... and you know what I respect it I love a dude who's about his one v ones. Uh, mm-hmm. you don't really get the 1v1 Sentai too often, because, you know, it's, the whole bit is that you bring the entire squad to beat the shit out of one guy, but... Um, yeah. But, like, you know, as as we're seeing, like, you know, despite him, like, you know, starting off as really overpowered, like, uh, he is... Uh, what's it called? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like, mean, he's not really, like, an overpowered red. It just... The thing is, he was competent, and he had power, but, like, it never was, like, super, like... You know, it was never like a Taro where it's like, yeah, this guy cannot be beaten. Yeah. Because um, even during the last fight with Mad Rex 1v1, we saw him struggling. Uh, mm-hmm. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what his dream is. If I have to say, the only thing is I feel like this episode, like, I felt that a little bit about the Joe one. I felt like this one was really fast when it comes to Boom Orange because he literally yeah. just has the one conversation, I do not wish to be a Boon Boonger. And then it's like, <laughs> skip to the fight. I guess I'll join you as a Boon Boonger. Yeah. Uh uh-huh. and yeah. it's like I feel like this could have I you know, I feel like we're trying to speed run to something, and I'm hoping that something is really cool. And I'm still exactly. not like I'm still not like unhappy, I'm not like dissatisfied, but I'm like, I feel like we could have done a little bit better here, you know? Yeah, yeah, just yeah, just a just a little bit more. Like it is very like we it's did, very, very formulaic, but yeah, like but it's like, it's formulaic to a point where like I don't even think we got like any real development from him because we like barely saw him in his own episode. Yeah. Yeah, they said they have it with Joe, but at least they made up for it last week. Or yeah, was it two so, weeks yeah, ago. Joe got his whole like Joe centered episode, and at the very least, I want to say like the payoff with Joe, I feel like was at least better because Joe was like fighting unsuited, trying to one v one an auto monster. Yeah. The, the fuck that fucking first like feral scream was he transformed? I'm like, mm-hmm. I get it. You guys wanted to get to that, and I'm down with that because that was fantastic to watch, but. Mm-hmm. I just didn't feel like we got that same like payoff for Mr. Procurement. Hopefully yeah. we'll see. You know, it looks like he's also gonna be kind of like a not like comedic not like comedic, but like there's gonna be like jokes because you know it seems like he has the same kind of taste as Bundario, so we're gonna see how that clashes mm-hmm. with like kind of his cool guy ish image. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a bit scattered right now. Like like it doesn't feel like we know like any like real real lines of story. Like, yeah, it, but it, I think it, but I think that's what we're going to get over here because like yes, that that seems to be the main thing we're setting up what the Boom Boongers mean to Taya for this next episode, and mm-hmm. I'm super excited that we're I think getting into the meat of it. Yes, I I really hope so because I think um I I don't think we really have any more toys that we need to introduce right now, do we? Not for the time being. I think I saw that they're using like the one of the yellow like cars, which might be like the taxi car or something next episode. Mm. But yeah. that might be. I think that's like the last of the bunch for now. Yeah, they, yeah, they might have speed ran getting all the toys out, getting all the toys out, introducing all the squad, and now we're gonna get to it. Yep, we'll see. Yeah, just, it's not a thing where like I'm bored or anything, or I'm like upset. But I'm yeah, like, we more, could be doing more. Yes, I mean, I, I, I just, I just want to see more character interactions, and I really hope that Break gets to interact a lot more because now he's not being all aloof and missing and off to the side. Yeah. Yep. But with that, you will hear back from us uh, next week as uh, Azir will be here right before he's got to head to the airport. Yep. Uh, with that, <sighs> later. Later. This program is brought to you by our unending love of tokusatsu. If you enjoyed the show, please be sure to like and subscribe. And hit the bell for notifications. And if you would like to support us further, consider becoming a patron at our Patreon, Half Hour Henshin. 
You can get some exclusive benefits, such as your name in the credits and joining our sticker club. Or if you want to help with a one-time donation, you can also find us at Kofi at Half Hour Henshin. You can email us with any questions or theories at halfhourhenshin at gmail.com or on Twitter at halfhourhenshin.